Hello everyone and welcome back to Need for Speed Unbound. Today we are going to be looking at the Bugatti Chiron Sport in S Plus, of course. So, for the parts, actually, yeah, there are no engine swaps, just so you know. There's the one engine. For the parts for this, it is Elite Everything. With the screw supercharger, the road suspension, the grip tires... Um, the seven speed super gearbox because there is not an elite one. I don't know. Yeah, you don't need to put in the elite differential if you don't want to. You could leave it on basic, save yourself a couple bucks with this super expensive build. And then super nature's grip and super nature's drift with the handling set to 100% handling, steering sensitivity all the way up, downforce in the middle, and drift entry set to brake tap. This will give you a blistering 261 miles per hour with a 0 to 60 of 2.2 and a quarter mile of 9.2. This thing can beat Regueras. It's also super wide body. Come check this out. Oops. I don't know what I'm doing here. Alright, here we go. Look at that wide body. Look at that. I don't think that could actually fit in an actual lane, even in the U.S. I think it would take up more than one lane. I think it's so wide, but it looks so good. All right, without further ado, let's go race this thing and see what it looks like. All right, so here we are on the headliner, which is a Corner King race, which means I will actually have to turn in this monstrosity of a speed demon. I don't know why I called it a monstrosity, but you know what I mean. And it helps if I actually, you know, like, turn. There we go. It sort of did what I wanted. I was trying to drift that corner. So, even though I have this thing set with some drift, it looks like you definitely have to brake going through the corners. This is the first time I have ever raced this car. So, I'm not quite sure what to even expect out of it. I think I might need to turn the uh, turn down. I have that set all the way up. Maybe that needs to come down a little bit. I think that might help. It could hurt. I mean, that right there was a pretty good turn. I'm just having to break in these corners so that it'll actually turn. I got used to drifting most of the corners with a lot of my builds, but this one is just so fast. When you try and start the drift, it'll just go straight into the wall. Oops, that was just wonderful driving on my part right there is what that was. Ah! So, definitely not a car you want to use on windy races very much. Um, just because of the top speed and the acceleration of it is so fast. If you don't slow down, then you're not going to get through it. But it did. It's fast. I mean, you, you play this thing online, you're going to beat Regueras. I just wanted to show it off. Um, we'll do one more race and go from there. And here we are in everybody's favorite S-plus race, the Big O. There we go. Just to see how this giant car, with all of its massive speed, will perform on this mostly straight not a whole lot of turn involved race and see if we can avoid the traffic as well and it would have been nice if that cop wouldn't have gotten in my way but that is okay because I'm still in the lead I really do think this thing nowadays can beat a Regera I have actually been beaten in my Regera by it before. Granted, I was racing really bad and crashing a lot, so that didn't help. But I think even without that, this thing can give the Regera a run for its money because, for one, it has a faster 0 to 60 with a slightly slower quarter mile than the Regera does. But it can reach more of a top speed than the Regera can now that they nerfed it. The Regera used to easily get up to 245 and you wouldn't have a problem. But this right here will get up to 245 without struggling. And just keep going with it. Unless you, like, you know, 
hit the brake or run into something. You know, silly things. So right now it wants to hold around 219, 222, which is a little surprising. But you can see it builds up that burst NOS with no problem. Oops! I did not see that car at all. And they rubber banded those guys right up to me. No surprise there. I don't understand why developers put rubber banding into races. Just make your racers better. Make your AI better. And then you don't have to rubber band everything. Because that's all that is, is rubber banding. So you can see right now it's holding 245 pretty easily. You get into the turns, it loses it a little bit more. I think that's where the Regera does better, is when you start having to turn, it'll maintain its speed better than the Bugatti does. But still, I would, I would totally buy and build this car in online multiplayer races. It would help if I could see going into that tunnel, that's for sure. Yeah, you can see it starts to just lose its speed right there, but the Regera wants to hold its speed. I do, ah, I do feel like the Bugatti holds the road better than the Regera for sure. The Regera wants to be a little more all over it. So I think that's one area where the Bugatti's a little bit better, but I don't know. It's it's kind of an even race if you can control the car. <laughs> I had I had some issues not seeing some road traffic there, but yeah, I mean, if you got the money for it, buy it. At least it's something other than using a Regera in S Plus. You should be able to beat the Regera. You should be able to win, beat anything else in the game, in all honesty. If you're losing to anything that's not a Regera, then you're driving very poorly, or you have not put any parts into this car. So that's going to do it today. Please subscribe, smash the like button, leave some comments down below, and I'll catch you in the next one.